are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. What's up, Black and White Sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video, guys. And boy, do we have a great video for you guys today. We have a damn good video, okay? But first, check out the merch 15% off in the merch store. Use the discount code Gina Rots, all one word, and you're going to get 15% off votes. Let's get into this, man. This is probably going to end up being my favorite video that I've actually made in a very, very long time because we get to talk about the Marxist NBA of China, LaChina James, and Kelly Oubre. The young player for the Golden State Warriors, man, he's only 25 years old. And he has come out and he has slammed the door on any talk about LeBron James being the GOAT. Now, guys, we know that LeBron James wants to be the GOAT. He wants you to think that he's actually the GOAT. That's why he's actually been vocal about himself being the GOAT. Because if you remember after the 2016 NBA Finals against the Warriors, LeBron James came out and he said, I feel like I'm the greatest of all time. And that's perfectly OK, man. If you feel like you're the greatest of, all, greatest of all time, more props to you, man. But you're not. You're not. You're just not. He also said he was chasing that ghost in Chicago because he wants you to believe he is the GOAT. Now, guys, me, myself, Rhodes, also Jeremy over at Sports Wars, we're all over 40. So we saw um, Michael Jordan in his prime. We also saw LeBron James in his prime, prime as well. Guys, it is Michael Jordan, and it's not even close. So let's dive into what Kelly Oubre had to say about why LeBron James is not the GOAT. And guys, he actually touches on something that we have been saying for a very long time on this channel. So check this out. It says, quote, insult to Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant comparing today's players to them. Kelly Oubre Jr. pokes holes at LeBron James's goat case. And so here. Let's dive into this. It says here, Kelly Oubre Jr. has been a great acquisition for the Golden State Warriors this season. The player is currently averaging an impressive 14.9 points and 5.8 rebounds while playing as third option on the team. It seems, though, that the player may have just landed himself in some hot water recently. In a recent interview with the Complex Sports Podcast, Oubre had a chance to give his two cents on the GOAT conversation. And his opinion may not be something that LeBron James will appreciate very much. Absolutely, guys, because here he is about to drop the hammer while LeBron is not the GOAT. It says here, many consider Michael Jordan to be the greatest of all time. He is, by the way, and justifiably so. But it is also widely accepted that LeBron James is making it a close fight at the very least. However, it seems Kelly Oubre Jr. disagrees with that notion completely. This is what he had to say on LeBron James potentially being the GOAT over Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. And guys, this is my take, man. I respect Kobe, but Kobe really isn't in that conversation where you can actually say he's the GOAT. I respect Kobe's game, but he's not in that top three to five player of all time, if you ask me. But this is what um, he had to say about it. This is why LeBron James cannot be the GOAT. He says, quote, this game today is a little bit more soft. <laughs> this is a guy that's actually playing in the game today and he's calling the NBA soft. But he goes on, he says to anybody to call anybody a GOAT is disrespectful to the hard earned award, Mike and Kobe have won. Close quote. Wow. Guys, we've been telling you guys that the NBA is soft now. I believe that the toughest era of basketball when the NBA wasn't soft as a cottonell tissue, as Stephen A. Smith says, was in the 1990s, man. Back in the 90s, man, they played defense. Like it was football. You got away with it, man. Back in those days, there was no fl flagrant fouls. It was just a hard foul. 
Those Knicks teams were tremendous on defense. The Rockets, tremendous on defense. The Bulls, tremendous on defense. Guys, that was the era of Gary Payton, Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing. And another thing, that was the greatest era of centers ever. Today, guys, the centers in today's game are trash. Let's just call it what it is. There really are no centers in today's game. Pure trash, man. So I get what he's saying, man. This is what we have been telling you guys. The NBA is too soft. You know, emotionally soft as well, man, because these players, man, you can't even call the owners of the team's owners anymore because that just triggers these soft, weak-ass players. That's, That's just the way it is today, man. A lot of these guys would not make it back in the 1990s Michael Jordan in his heyday. Another thing, too, that I believe, man, the NBA is a bunch of floppers right now. I mean, there's so much flopping in the NBA trying to get fouls that the NBA has a flopping rule. Because guys just want to sell a foul. It's ridiculous, man. But it is kind of amazing and surprising, you know, that. That a guy like uh, Kelly Oubre, who's only 25 years old. I'm pretty sure he did not see Michael Jordan playing as prime would come out and just absolutely slam the door on any talk about LeBron James being the GOAT. He says it's disrespectful. I'm right there with him, man. LeBron is an all-time great player. He's in the top five of all time, no doubt about it. But he is no Michael Jordan. Absolutely not. He is not Michael Jordan, man. I know he's um, LeBron, won four championships. He's lost, he lost, he's lost six. But he has been to 10 finals. I believe that it is Michael Jordan and then the Nets player is that much lower. That's how dominant Michael Jordan was. And also, by the way, folks, you cannot be the GOAT. You absolutely cannot be the GOAT when you have destroyed your league. Your league is in the trash can, LeBron James. Because of the wokeness of the NBA. Getting political. The NBA has gotten extremely political, man. And LeBron James is the ringleader. I mean, you got Steve Kerr out there uh, speaking about stuff all the time. Uh, Greg Popovich as well. You know, it's not about the game. They have alienated their fans. And LeBron James, LeBron James is to blame for that. So he cannot be the GOAT. He's not a better player than Michael Jordan. No, he's not. Not even close if you ask me, man. Michael Jordan had that killer will. And he took you out, man. You couldn't even go seven games with Michael Jordan. You could, you just couldn't. He won all of his finals in six games or less. And that 2011 NBA Finals, man, when LeBron James disappeared like a punk, where he didn't want the ball at all, that would never happen to Michael Jordan. Never, never, ever happen to Michael Jordan like that. LeBron in that Finals, man, just crawled up in a corner And disappeared. And he said after that finals, man, he went home and he just stayed in his house for two weeks. Didn't even want to go out. He can't take criticism. We know LeBron is super sensitive and soft. He cannot take criticism. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Do you guys actually agree with Kelly Oubre that LeBron James can't be the GOAT because the NBA is just too soft? I 100% agree with that with with that uh, take from Kelly Oubre. I really, really do. LeBron James is super sensitive and he plays in a soft era, man. A very, very soft era. Now, I do believe LeBron LeBron would be great in any era, but he still would not be the GOAT. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.